can't believe it's working. Yeah, it's working. <laughs> what the hell? Is somebody making tea? Let's go see if the engine's blown up. Might not be blown up after all. The BMW sucks. Blown up. I don't know you guys, I can't. I feel like Adam knows things about the blow up and he just doesn't want to tell me. This whole thing's an emotional roller coaster. If it's dead, I want to know when it's dead. You think it's not? light fender rolling. I was trying to fit some bigger wheels. I needed even more fender rolling, so we just threw some tiny boys on for now. But we got a head start on it last night anyway. And then today, my hydro has been bled even more. Got new pads, new rotors on the car. So hopefully it works with a handbrake right now so I can actually drive with people, maybe do some chases. But literally last night, I drifted this thing for the very first time. I was so in shock just because I had such low expectations in fact, like zero expectations with this entire journey. Everyone, all hands on deck, just trying to figure out all the little weird things that have been going on. Even just getting like these window switches to work, which right now only that one works. And then this one, we just have to use a power probe. So that's why the door is ripped off. We got this thing ripping, but damn, was it worth it. My very first lap drifting this car properly was at night and in the rain. So sick. I can't believe it's working. It's finally working. Today, I'm so excited to do my first real proper laps in the dry in the car and we'll see how she does. 
But the fact that I was able to jump in an e-chassis for the very first time, and my first laps linking a course, I didn't spin out once, and it was like my three fears in drifting together. I wouldn't, fear is the wrong word. I would say my three elements that right now make me less confident in my driving is raining, uh, darkness, like visibility, literally could barely see anything last night. And then the third one was not having a working hydro. You'll still see in some of the video that I'm going for this, even though it's not really doing anything, it's just a habit and it's a safety. But those three things all thrown together, in my very first laps, I was able to go out, hit the Nico drop and just send it and feel really, really comfortable. So maybe this was worth it all along. I don't know, we'll find out shortly, but I'm so excited to bring you guys along for the ride today as we continue to get comfortable in this thing. We got 50 PSI in the tires all around, but this side we do have one leaky boy tire. So I'm gonna re-air this one up and then we should be good to go start ripping. So the handbrake still doesn't really work, which sucks. I don't know what's going on, but I just want to drive. I just might not do as much chasing, but I should still have fun. I still just go for the handbrake, even though it doesn't really do anything out of habit. And now that I'm driving this thing in the drive for the first time, it feels so underpowered, but I guess that's normal. So a lot more clutch work. Nothing's hurt, but hey, I got a few laps in. I wish I got better footage for you guys as I don't think I got any outside shots yet. Honestly, if anything, this E36 build has just reminded me of the need for tenacity in life. What the hell? Is somebody making tea? Oh, 
dumps fuel so probably flooded you. Oh my god! <laughs> but look, they're perfect. There's not a single dent. Alright. Some Griot's uh... <gasps> oh, it's the best pop! Hello! I guess I never have to paint my car or put a livery on it, so... Oh, that's great! Thanks, babe. See how it's making the ticking noise now? Anyway, your car did that when it was cold, too. 100%. Yeah, but it never did that in the beginning. That was after it overheated with no water for 15 minutes. Maybe it's not blown up. I don't know, you guys. I can't. I can't. Adam thinks it was just a tune and it just got super rich and died and then wouldn't start. And then I start to have fun and then it's like the car doesn't want me to continue having fun. So it's like, ha, you're having too much fun. <laughs> that sounds awful. That's not normal. All right, dude, on record, everyone's telling me this is great. So when this blows up, it runs and.
You be honest. What the hell is that? I don't, give it a little rev. What the hell? What do you I, think it I, is, Trevor? Say I, it. It could be some clutch stuff. Maybe it could be a Vanos gear. Hear that? Yeah. Yeah. I, this car has been on the brink of blowing up this whole time, and he just, keeps saying, he just keeps saying, oh, just might as well drive it. What the hell is going revs? on? Yeah, I see the face, Trevor. I saw the face. Someone tell me that this, just be honest with me, okay? This whole thing's been an emotional roller coaster. If it's dead, I want to know that it's dead. Like, just tell me. I cannot handle the ride. I can't go the up and down. I've been up and down too many times. You think it's not? There's all types of smells and smoke and noises. Honestly, the level of like stuff that this whole experience has been has gotten so high that now I can only laugh about it. Like it's kind of like someone is just messing with me. But the last one. Hey, at least I'm driving now. So between the trauma, there's happiness. So it's like happiness trauma. Having this truck. <laughs> a lot of it is right here, but that could also be the chain. The truck, then we can put a 328 motor in it. We're an M3 motor. Woo! Hey! Well, we don't really know what it is. It might be the Vanos, might be gasket, might just be a chain, might just be total. Engine might just be bad. I don't know, but like I said, at least through all the trauma, I was getting laps in between the trauma, and I do think that I really, really like the chassis. I mean, Normally, I would be stressing like mad, especially with all these different things that have been going on and noises and feelings the entire time. I was feeling like something was wrong. Um, but between all that, I was still able to have fun, do some sit laps, uh, actually chase even without like a really good working handbrake. And this might be it for me for the night, but I started this video saying maybe I do love this car. I still don't know. We'll see what happens. Maybe in the next video, we'll uh, open this thing up and figure out what's actually going on for now. driving and having fun so uh i might throw the car back in the shop take a quick pause and then just enjoy the rest of the night so uh yeah that is it for this video comment below if you know those noises or have any other ideas of what we should be looking into at this point i'll probably be posting this video tomorrow so it's it will still be helpful if you guys give me a clue of where to start but yeah e36 life not getting much better but at least still having fun <laughs> E36s are. If you know how to make beats, hit me up.